What's up, Star Wars fans? Welcome to another SH Figure Arts action figure review. This time we got Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. And just before I start, I just want to say that this is probably one of the best figures I own in um, in general. Um, it's you know this is an easy a top ten in my entire collection. I, I, I've absolutely am stoked with this figure. Um, I was really thrilled with the Last Jedi Luke that came out last year. Um, I'm still thrilled with that figure, but this one, this one is something else. This is great. This is our young hero Luke with his with his lightsaber, kicking ass. You know, this is this is a great figure. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, a little bit of back background, I guess. This figure has had a couple of releases. Um, I'm not sure on years, but. Uh, yeah, I sort of wasn't even considering SH Figure Arts as a collection back when it was first released. Um, and then, then the second second release came out a couple of years ago, and I just sort of put it off for a little while, and uh, eventually the prices have just started going up again. But I recently got this for a pretty damn good deal, um, just on eBay. Uh, I had a save search for Luke Skywalker SH Figure Arts, and, and someone local or interstate anyway they put one up for for a pretty reasonable price and uh i decided to snatch it up while i could so i'm thrilled that i did um yeah this is this is really good i just love the green lightsaber love the black suit the the facial likeness is incredible um on both heads we get two heads um you can swap the hair out between them which is which is interesting um but i think i like this look the best um i really do so uh, we'll get a nice close-up look. I'm just going to remove the lightsaber so we can move this figure around. We'll get a look at the lightsaber while I'm holding it. There we get Luke's classic green lightsaber. There's a slight little peg there which slots onto his belt. So you can peg that on. It also comes with the hilt itself. Which also has that slot. So it's pretty much the same piece. They've just given us a blade piece as well. Now to use it on his closed sort of hands, you need to slide that through and then peg that in. And uh, I, I suppose over time, this could get a little bit weak, um, but for the moment, it's, it seems okay. Um, I know I spoke about that uh, super glue trick in my Django Fett review, so that's probably an applicable thing I could do at some stage if it starts to loosen up, but for the most part, that feels pretty tight, and that's not that's not going anywhere. I'm sort of giving giving that a little bit of a pull there, and I was just off camera for a sec, so I apologise for that. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice piece, nice green blade. Again, just the hilt does the same thing, just without the blade. So I've always liked this lightsaber a lot couple of sets of hands he's got a set of fists obviously one gloved one not is a pair of these sort of just just relaxed open hands and then we have this one which I don't think is for this figure so I'm gonna ignore that and uh, yeah the lightsaber no, it is for this figure, actually. I apologise for that. It's slightly different there. And the uh, closed lightsaber hands. So let's get a real good close-up of, of Luke here. Check that out. How good is that? That is fantastic. Um, again, we've got the gold hair treatment, but I honestly don't mind. Um, with a face that look, looks that good, the gold doesn't really come across in photos either, and it's it's quite nice, actually. I don't mind it. The other one's probably... Ca the other hair piece catches a bit of light. So we'll uh, swap heads here. Now, like I said, the, you can swap the hair and have that hair from the head I just showed you on this head. This is a more, bit more of a battle action look. You know, I'd say while he's on the uh, 
sail barge, but he hasn't got this outfit on the sail barge. He's got the tunic over the top, so... Again, it, it looks great. It's just, it's not my favourite out of the two. But it would make for some great shots, absolutely. So we'll swap back. And get a look. Just would have been cool to see a version with a swappable out chest piece, much like Hasbro did with their six inch uh, Jedi Luke. Um, but that's okay. I'm, I'm more than happy with how this one looks. I apologize for my shadow, that's my big fat head getting in the way. Simple belt buckle there. Again, it's a simple outfit, but it looks nice. A lot of the nice shiny black boots. Again, I'll demonstrate this uh, lightsaber for you. Yeah, he's got he's got some great articulation, great movement, amazing posability. I'm really thrilled with this this figure, and uh, yeah, I, this is one I definitely recommend. So definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this one. Just uh, yeah, <laughs> I've seen I've seen a few on eBay that are knockoffs. You can get some knockoffs pretty cheap, and they look nasty. So be careful what you buy. Um, just just putting that out there. Don't go and find a cheap one because they're not meant to be cheap figures. They're they're on the next price scale up. They're they're a bit up there. So got to be kind of be picky with these figures, but uh. That's okay. So next up, we'll be looking at the Vader counterpart. Um, and I will go across the other accessory that came with Luke. Um, it actually comes with Anakin Skywalker's head with, you know, in the Vader's removed helmet. So I'll go over that with the Vader and uh, pair them up so you can see what that looks like. But, uh... Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Always appreciate the feedback and the thumbs up and the the comments and the messages. It's it's all good stuff. So thank you. Until my next video, may the force be with you.